<laughs> oh, wow, Richard. You are Mr. Speedy himself. You yeah. really are. Okay, let's get rid of these things. <laughs> right. You know, Richard, it's absolutely great. I can't tell you how pleased we are that you're here on the sofa with us today. <laughs> and even though we were we decided as you know at the last minute to do a special program because of all the rioting mm, I understand. we we still wanted <laughs> to bring you on and just to talk to you because so so many of the viewers were phoning were emailing were texting how's richard how's richard oh, thank if you we so much. <laughs> if we went two or three days without an update people were complaining you know really? why aren't you giving us an update <laughs> and, <laughs> and i mean it's i mean it's been absolutely incredible the prayers lifted up from oh. revelation tv have been thank you <laughs> incredible thank you. and so we just really we wanted to to bring you on i mean most of you will know richard kent richard has been part of the revelation tv for team for quite a while now but Richard for those who don't know or those who haven't caught the whole story then I really do want you to tell it to us not because you want to sit and relive the horrendous accident but really you know so that people are, in, are encouraged because yeah. you know through God's grace Absolutely. here you are today Good. have we got some pictures to show maybe I'm not sure if we've got any pictures. I'm, oh, there you go. There Here's are. some That's, pictures. Uh, okay. Somewhere on that road, on a Saturday, on an afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon, I was cycling along. I'm not quite sure exactly where it is, Leslie, but anyway, I was cycling along on my little cycle, which I do every day. I, drive, I cycle 20 or 30 miles a day most days. And I didn't know, but it, suddenly I was hit from behind by a car. And anyway, I was knocked out, and I was wearing one of these. I'm going to hold this up. Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's, um, there you go. That's okay, back it, to you now. This is a... Everybody, all cyclists must wear one of these because this saved my life. Because I was knocked off the, uh, off the cycle onto my head and, mm. if I had, and the police actually said, oh, there's my bike. If you look there, there's... Oh, no. oh that's me in the hospital. Can we, I don't think we can go back one, can we? I don't know if we can sure go we back can. one. There but, you go. Look at, the, you look at there. Is that you in the that's hospital, That's me in the hospital. Richard, can, you go back to the, can, can you go back to you? Can't, oh, that's my legs. Oh. <laughs> no, can't go back. Okay, We're going not to forward, worry. Richard. Anyway, okay. I, my, my bicycle was completely messed up. Um, it was a complete write off. And I was nearly a write off. The police came um, and they had a helicopter there. They closed the road for four hours. And the police actually took me back later and they said, honestly, we never thought you'd survive. Because and when, when did this happen, Richard? It was six weeks ago now. Okay. Six weeks ago. Anyway, they, uh, they put me in ambulance and my heart stopped in the ambulance. Uh, so I was resuscitated. My, I went into ventricular fibrillation. That means my heart went into really strange rhythms. And the next thing after that is cardiac arrest normally, because I used to be an anaesthetist. <laughs> right, so you would know more than anyone. Well, <laughs> yes. But anyway, they resuscitated me, and that's fantastic. So they took me to hospital. But at the hospital, they couldn't get a blood pressure. They couldn't, my pulse was very thin, and they gave me lots of blood and fluids and all sorts of things. But my daughter is a midwife. And she came straight to the hospital, still with her uniform on. They said, uh, we're not at all happy about Dad. You know, uh, you better get the whole family here because when the prognosis is very uncertain. And that's what we heard. That was yeah. the first that we yeah. heard. Yeah, they said the prognosis is very uncertain. I was unconscious, so I don't remember any of this, actually. Anyway, I, got, I had 11 fractures. I had a fractured uh, leg, tibia and fibula, three fractures there. Fractured uh, lumbar, and lumbar spine, several fractures there. Fractured sacrum fractured hands and fractured ribs. So, um, but also I lost a lot of blood as well. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, there we are. So uh, <laughs> the yeah. next day they put me into hospital. They, put, they took me to the theatre and they put a big uh, pin down the whole of my leg, uh, you know, a long titanium pin. It's called an intramedullary nail. And uh, that, that took several hours. Mm -hmm. And then they put me into um, intensive care to look after me because for the first 48 hours it's very it's called critical care nowadays and just as you're speaking actually oh, there is just the looking bicycle. A, a picture of this uh, yeah there's the bicycle of this bicycle wow complete mess that is totally totally smashed yeah a complete mess that is anyway and i was a complete mess too <laughs> yes yes exactly and that's what we were hearing yes and that's uh, where the prayers started well, that's richard right. um anyway they put me they obviously after 48 hours in the critical care unit they put me into a gen in a ward uh, but then I got, um, first of all, I got a 
uh, deep vein thrombosis. That's a clot in my leg, which is da quite dangerous, Leslie. Oh, it's, it's very, very dangerous. Very dangerous, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the only, let me, my moment of glory. Yes, let me Let me tell you why I know. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I'm, I have asthma. I've only been hospitalized once in my life for yeah. asthma. But I was in hospital for six days. I was pretty bad. It was right at the time that Revelation TV was being launched. It was three months beforehand. Mm. Howard was living in the yeah. studio sure. day and night, and I was yeah. in Kingston Hospital. And be because I'd been lying for so long, my leg started to hurt. And then they measured oh. one leg against the other, and they said, oh, we think you have a DVT. That meant absolutely nothing to yeah. me. Oh, you have one. And um, so they... Um, uh, they put. They started injecting into my tummy these awful. What was it? More what, some heparin. Heparin. There you yeah. go. And they said, but we can't give you a scan until tomorrow. Oh. So I endured these awful injections. And then they did a scan, and they said, you don't have DVT <laughs> at all. So that was where I was on the internet. I was reading up oh. all about it, yes. and that's why I know that it's potentially fatal, isn't oh, absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because the thing is, there's a clot in your leg. Basically, the, the, uh, the car impacted my calf. It broke the leg, but it, obviously the soft tissue of the, it's called the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles, completely messed up, and also all the veins. So I've got a deep vein thrombosis, and that's my leg there. Anyway, right. um, that, that was quite dangerous. Someone on these heparin injections, they're called Clexane, for three months. But well, then I got pneumonia. <gasps> <laughs> and I had uh, very high temperatures, and I was shivering, like as if I had malaria or something. Mm. And at that point, to be honest, I thought I was going to die. I really and that's did. when you told, I think I, sp I spoke to you yeah. on the phone. You, you sounded awful. You were, your breathing was <laughs> laboured. Yeah. And, and, you, and you said to me, that uh, you said, I'm very, very ill. Yeah, well, I thought I was going to die. In fact, I, I actually planned my funeral. I was going to be, <laughs> the funeral was going to be in Christchurch, New Maldon, actually. Really? Because uh, I was so born, you know, I was born in yes, New Maldon. Yes, you were, just down the road from here. Yes, and exactly. also having this connection with Revelation TV and all the wonderful cards and emails and texts and everything else I've had. I've even got a phone call in the ward from Australia. Oh, amazing, <laughs> it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. amazing. <laughs> and I got but all these letters every day, 30 letters every day, you know, for four weeks. They couldn't believe it. They said, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> They just didn't know. <laughs> but the thing is, Richard, you didn't die. God hasn't finished no, with you yet. I didn't die. And I tell you what, much more important than all that is, um, it got me to thinking what is really important in life. It really did, because when you strip it all away, sure. you know, an incident like that, two o'clock on a Friday afternoon, changes everything. And you know, I, I, suddenly, I think we all knew, knew before, but really, it's your personal walk with our Heavenly Father that matters more than anything else. And sure. I, I used to listen to worship music. I, I particularly like held song, but there are lots of others I listen to. I listen to an awful lot of that. I listen to the scriptures on my little MP3 thing, iPod. And, uh, and I was really, really interested in scripture. And I wasn't remotely interested in the news at all. They had the television on all the time. I wasn't remotely interested in it. And then I, uh, I realized that people are really important. Now, my family are very close, and they were already there. But I started phoning people um, that I, you know, I'm really fond of, mostly Christians actually, and, and really embarrass them by saying, look, I really love you, sure. which I'd never told them before, but I thought, well, if I'm going to die, I want them to know that I love them. Wow. <laughs> and I love a lot of people here, actually, Leslie, exactly. I must say. A lot of people in Revelation TV, I really do love. I suppose when you really feel, you know, that your life is literally yeah. on the line and you just yeah. don't know which way yeah. it's going to go, no. I suppose you're thinking, well, what can I do in yeah. this time? I'm either going to recover or yeah. I'm going to die. Yeah. And it really does make you think about your priorities, I'm yeah, sure. It, it was very, very, I mean, I learned an awful lot, actually. I learned a lot. Yes. And, you know, things that we think about a lot, like, you know, we watch the television, and all the stuff that's happening on television this evening is very important. Of course. But ultimately, it's our heavenly walk with our heavenly father. It's our relationships with our personal families. And virtually all of my family are Christians, which is wonderful. Yes. And then our wider, the wider church without walls and our home church, you know. And we have the most wonderful home church as well. And they've been absolutely fantastic. Revelation TV has been absolutely fantastic. And your pastor even brought you here this <laughs> evening. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't live round the corner. Yeah, and he's absolutely wonderful. Pastor Roger French. I know, he's wonderful. He's and your church is? Uh, Living Word Church in Portsmouth, that's right. Excellent. Yeah, and yeah. I know that Roger has actually been on Revelation TV oh, yes, from, yes. He, from time to he's time. He's very, very good, actually. Absolutely. Yes, he's very good news, that chap. He's been wonderful, actually. He's been a very, very good friend, very close. And his lovely wife, Sue. Exactly. But the whole church has been wonderful. Just like Revelation mm. TV, they've been praying and lots of people have been visiting me. They've been absolutely fantastic. I'm but you sure. really find out who 
Yes, well, you I do. Yes. I got a lot of friends. I didn't have so many friends. I got a lot more than I thought I had, actually. Well, the calls were coming into the office. Well, you know, which hospital is he in? We want to send a card. Yeah, you know, yeah. we are going to be praying for yeah, him. And, yeah. uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, this side of glory, you will never know how much response we had from just us saying, please, please pray yeah. for Richard and of yeah. course it just showed I mean not that we didn't think people didn't love you but it showed us just how much our viewers really really well, did really love you and were just so concerned and so keen to <laughs> to track your that's progress great. I mean you're sitting there now looking an absolute picture of health <laughs> but you still have you're still on the road to recovery I've just aren't got to, you? all I've got to do is straighten my leg that's all it's going and to take it. just a few weeks that's all really? <laughs> and then well I don't know how long it's going to take. I mean, take. you look incredibly well. I'm not quite <laughs> sure what I was expecting. I wasn't really expecting them to carry you in on a stretcher, but no, no. I wasn't expecting to but see. But I'll tell you what, it is a testimony to God's faithfulness, actually, because a lot of people have been praying. Yes. And, you know, I really was nearly killed by the roadside. Yes. I mean, the, 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 the police said, we really thought you were dead. Uh, and my heart stopped in the, in the ambulance. And I used to be an anaesthetist. And frankly, when people's heart stops, the chances of resuscitation are not that good, frankly. No. When I got to the hospital, I was in, you know, in a... Uh, emergency unit, if you like, or, sure. you know, casualty unit. And I've been there because I've done that sort of work, of a lot of it. And, you know, when people come in and they've lost a lot of blood and they can't find a pulse or a blood pressure or anything else, it's not good. Mm. Yeah, it's not good. But I survived all that. And then I went, went on to get DBT and pneumonia. But I'm here because God loves well, you us. You really are. Because <laughs> <laughs> God loves us. Uh, yeah. And it says, by his stripes we're healed. Ex so, you know, exactly. God is good. God exactly. is good. Exactly. And yeah. knowing you, you probably made a few friends along the way in the hospital, <laughs> didn't you? I'm I sure did. you weren't the quietest I, of, I did. of patients. Yes. So, I mean, dare I ask when we're going to see you back doing some programming for us? Or, uh, well, I'd love to come back as soon as possible, actually. You, I, I mean, got... you, you, you look so. <laughs> So, so yeah. well. There's no reason why I can't come back. So I've got lots of people. I can't drive, but I've got a lot of people who can drive for me. Well, you've I've got chauffeurs been, I've now. I've been given a taxi account. Oh, wow. Yes. Amazing. Well, I, you know, the, uh, the solicitor in London who's dealing with this says, well, you used to be able to drive. It's not your fault you can't drive. So here's sure. a taxi account. You just give me a taxi account. Well, and true. So, so <laughs> true that that, that just happened. Well, anyway, so I just really really wanted to to bring Dr. Richard Kent onto the program this evening just really to be able to show you you know God does answer prayer okay and I just thank you and I know Richard yeah. you also really want to thank the viewers for standing by him for standing by us because Richard is part of our Revelation TV team and you know that so <laughs> we really will be continuing to pray that very soon Richard will be resuming his programming on Revelation. Had some great emails in throughout the evening, Richard, so okay. if you don't mind, I'll just yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Re, um, read some. Oh, here we go. Actually, uh, I've started at the top, and this one's for you. Oh, really? <laughs> I was about to talk about the riots. <laughs> God bless you, Richard. Jesus is your strength, your physician, and our life. His beauty shines from you. Oh, hello. says thank you dear Richard for your witness and that's from Anne oh that's absolutely lovely yeah. um, it says um, this re regarding what's going on um, in our country could God be using this to bring churches together people to repentance to heal our land just going to read out a few here um, wow Richard looks amazingly well <laughs> considering what he's been through praise God from Brian, okay. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Actually, Richard, they're all about you. I oh, thought they were going carry to. On, <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were going to be. <laughs> so funny. Dr. Richard Kent has really lifted our spirits this evening. It's been all bad news, but now we see an answer to prayer. Thank God for Richard, and that's for Brian and Jan.